Welcome to Wessex Knee. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm going to take you through a recent surgery that I carried out. It's a keyhole arthroscopy of a nine year old's knee. It unfortunately had a twisting injury and had ongoing pain and discomfort. The MRI scan that we carried out highlighted some signal changes in the ACL indicating a possible injury. It was difficult to tell whether this was a significant tear. Clinically, on examining her, she had some laxity on anterior draw and on the Lachman test, but it was symmetrical with the other side. I could feel a firm end point and a pivot shift was really difficult to carry out in a nine-year-old, as you can imagine. Let's turn around the camera and have a quick look at the nanoscope and go through it in a little bit more detail. So here we are up close with what you receive when you open up the box. It's all disposable, everything's there. This is the nanoscope. 1.9 millimetres across. These are the inflow sheaths that are only 2.2 millimetres outer diameter. It's one single connection. The light source and the LED and the camera uh, chip are all contained within this. This is the calibration tip, really important, don't throw that away. And also you can see how flexible this is, which really just helps with us uh, being able to manoeuvre around a knee without doing any damage to the articular cartilage or the soft tissues, really minimising things. Let's move on to the actual arthroscopy itself and we'll go through the images that you can see on the screen of the console of the nanoscope, which is a 13 inch touchscreen display, all contained within one unit with a single connector, making things really easy to set up. Also a brilliant advantage is that everything's recorded and easy to put onto a USB stick, allowing you to share that video with the patients or for videos like this, for instance. Anyway, let's move on. So here we are in the knee. This is the view from the nanoscope. You can see quite how good the picture actually is. So looking up, we can see the articular surface of the patella coming over to the lateral facet. Below we can see the trochlear groove. This water is just under gravity. This isn't with the inflow. Now we're in the medial joint compartment. You can see the pristine articular cartilage of the weight bearing surface of the medial femoral condyle. Um, and the articular surface of the tibia and the meniscus using a needle just to make us as safe as we possibly can to prevent damage to the articular surface we establish our uh, medial portal and the context of a small artery clip just shows you the space that we're dealing with within this knee now we're introducing the nano probe um, and this is a fantastic device you can see it's very low profile the hook doesn't uh, isn't out permanently you advance it, it's a nitinal wire, allowing you to be able to move around without damaging the articular cartilage and really only employing the, the probe when you need it. So getting into that tight post-remedial corner, corner and just tugging on the meniscus, showing that it's nice and healthy and secure. Coming into the notch, this is where we could see the changes that we saw in MR. You can see there's some splits within the fibres of ACL and the vascular markings and the synovium covering it has been stripped off. Using the nano probe, just testing the ACL and seeing that it is secure, it's attached, it's functioning normally, but clearly with some legacy of some trauma to it. There's the anterior horn of the lateral meniscus underneath the nano probe. Place the patient into a figure four to get this amazing view. Um, of the lateral compartment and the meniscus. You can see popliteus tendon under there. The nanoprobe just in the hiatus and pulling and checking the stability of the lateral meniscus. This is somewhere where the meniscal uh, capsular fascicles can be damaged and cause an unstable lateral meniscus that's difficult to see on MR. We've got the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus again just underneath the nanoprobe and just testing the stability of it and it looks nice and healthy and nice and normal which is fantastic. That 120 degree view just giving us a fantastic image and absolutely higher, high enough resolution for us to use for a normal arthroscopy and not necessarily for anything specific. Now we're looking into the gutters just checking for any loose bodies coming down to the lateral gutter, down, 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 and there we go, the edge of the lateral articular margin, 
And then because of the size of the nanoscope being only 1.9 millimeters or 2.2 with the sheath, that we can advance into the posterior compartment of a nine-year-old looking into the postromedial compartment without any problem at all and certainly without any risk at all of doing harm to the articular surfaces within that very delicate knee and we can see PCL on the way out. So I hope you find that interesting. Um, it was a nice view from that nanoscope really showing off the advantage of having such a tiny instrument to be able to delicately look around uh, small anatomy like that. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button. We often have some educational videos and webinars coming up from Wessex Knee or check out the website at www.wessex-knee.com. Thanks.